Uh, Rob, uh, congratulations on uh, winning. Uh, I guess they created a new category for Mercedes-Benz. Yeah, first, <laughs> that, I, I think I, I would agree with you. Um, it's a uh, world luxury car. This is the first year they've had it this year, and uh, we're absolutely honored that uh, what we feel is the best luxury car in the world. Also, the jurors from around the world agreed, and uh, for the S-Class for 2014, it's amazing. Yeah, because if I remember well, Mercedes-Benz have been a finalist for several categories in the past, and always, like, Stay only one one step short. Of yeah, winning. we were a little short of the podium. Yeah, uh, we did win a number of years ago for the uh, the E three twenty Blue Tech, which yeah. was fantastic. Uh, but yeah, you're right. The past several years, we've been waiting in the audience. So the new S class has been already in the market for a couple of months already, or a little bit more. Uh, it went on sale for us in October. Oh, in October. Uh, it's been a huge home run for us. Uh, I think it just really uh, asserts its leadership position within that segment, and uh, what we're seeing already this year is that uh, sales are up 75% from last year, and we actually outsell the BMW 7 Series, the Audi A8, and the Lexus LS combined, That's which amazing. is just an amazing um, achievement, and it's also a great affirmation from uh, customers that this is the finest luxury car you yeah. can buy. And you, you have a very loyal uh, base of customers for that car, but like, I guess since this car has so much stuff that is new completely, for not only for the, for the model or for the industry really yep. I mean I guess you're getting other customers from other brands yeah I think you know the S class is always a is a flagship and it's a flagship for for style for luxury uh, and also technology and safety and I think what you're seeing with this car is that really pushing the boundaries to new levels uh, but unlike past generations of the S class a lot of the technology that we have in the S-Class is actually filtered down to the E-Class, the yeah. C-Class. Uh, customers don't have to wait that several years because technology has really progressed in a, in a sense that we can um, build that into the other cars and have everyone else benefit from it. So it's, it's a tremendous uh, achievement for the S-Class. Yeah. And now like the other derivatives of the S-Class are coming out, like the, the AMG, obviously, and now you hear the, the show, you show the new... Uh, S uh, S63 AMG Coupe uh, world premiere here, so more in that big family, right? Yeah, it, it, that that's a that's a dream car for us, Absolutely. and I think for you know based on the reaction that we've had, based on how much attention it's had around the uh, on the platform. Um, it's, it's great that you can go to an auto show. I remember like when I was a kid and you look out yeah. at the platform, where's my dream car? That's the dream car that we have for 14. Um, we'll go on sale for us in October. And I think uh, if you were at the press conference yesterday, it was Absolutely. just an amazing response that we had yeah. to it. And John Hamm helped us out a little bit too. Which is <laughs> yeah, for sure. And then you also have like another dream car, like no, not uh, very far in the future. We show us a little picture of the interior of the new Supercar. Yeah, the new supercar. This is uh, something that I worked on uh, during my short time with AMG here, so I'm really proud about that one. And uh, we just want to share the car with everyone, but it's just not time yet. So we yeah. shared the interior, and we also revealed the name where we will call that car uh, the Mercedes AMG GT, and it's going to be a fantastic sports car for Mercedes Benz so, and from AMG. So next year for the World Car of the Year Awards, uh, you didn't have to create a category because that's going to be probably. Design, performance, what's your prediction? Yeah, I think that's a performance <laughs> car, but we're pretty bullish on our prospects for next year. I think that when, when folks see this car, uh, it's going to stop them in their tracks. And, and just like the S-Coupe, it's another dream car for Mercedes. Yeah, and, and, and all the other business for Mercedes-Benz is, is doing great, right, in the States? I mean, you're like the, the new C-Class and all the other yeah, I mean, are coming out. We, had, uh, we finished uh, in the number one category last year as for, in terms of luxury. That's the first time we've been in that position since 1999. And that momentum just keeps going this year. Uh, we're still maintaining that number one pace, uh, even without the launch of a single new model. So when we get the models like the GLA, which is a one-two punch for us in the yep. entry segment, we have a new C-Class coming this year, B-Class Electric, S-Coupe. It's going to be a, just a phenomenal year for Mercedes-Benz. Okay. Well, congratulations again on the award and uh, all the new things are happening with Mercedes. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.